and welcome to another game of... Ooh, now this is... Stuart. This is Stuart and this is... Sarah. Stuart and Sarah, and they've come from Wales to play the game this morning. Now, Stuart, you're into surfing, aren't you? Yeah. So where do you do your surfing? In Gowan, in Wales. In, in Gowan, in Wales, that's, that's just off Swansea, is it? Near Mumbles? Yeah. Is it, is it good surfing down there, is it? It's OK. And you, you're getting quite good at it, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to be a champion. Some of the champions are British, let me tell you. And you, Sarah, you're into cycling. Tennis. You, and tennis. Yeah. What sort of tennis do you like? Uh, proper tennis. On your own yeah, or doubles own. or...? Singles. You like playing singles? Yeah. Singles tennis. You'd yeah. like to be a tennis champion, would you? Yeah. Oh, well, we've only got a game of golf here this morning. Unfortunately, we haven't got tennis or surfing. But before we go on, let me introduce to you that man in the middle, Cool Cat Kijo! <laughs> oh. He's got his little helpers with him. He's got his helpers with him. Right, now, let's have a look see what prizes you're playing for this morning. Today's five-star prize is a colour TV! <laughs> If that gets tracked, don't worry, we'll replace it with a four-star prize, which is a CD player. If that goes, you're on to a keyboard, electronic keyboard. If that goes, we've got a skateboard for you. And last but not least, but well worth winning, is a camera. All right, so you've always got something to play for on this game. I tell everyone that, and it is true. Right, this is how you can win those prizes. You've got eight minutes to get round all four sides, or we fire the trap. You've got to complete all obstacles on the way. And on each corner, there's a timeout square where we'll stop the clock and you'll pick up some extra prizes. All right? You understand that? Yep. But during the game, you'll hear this sound. <laughs> you know what that means? That means the trap has been fired. As you see, the boot will kick the bucket. The ball will start rolling down the stairs. Whilst this is happening, you'll be racing around the outside as fast as your little legs will take you. You will tag your partner, who will run into the middle and turn off the yellow steam valve. All eyes, this will happen. The green ball will fall through the bucket. The man, boom, takes his backward somersault and the cage will fall and trap your prize. But don't worry, we will replace it. We'll replace it with the next prize, Dan. You'll be going home with something. So you understand the rules, don't you? Okay, yeah. Right, let's have a look down this first side, shall we? Now, you've got the old balloon tube here. I want you to race through the balloon tube, come out the other side, straight onto a puzzle. I'll explain it when we get to it. It's a, it's a, a sort of a statement you've got to remember. And then we want the balls into the tube here. I want ten. I want to count ten balls in that tube. And then we're on to a question square. I want three correct answers for you. You can move on. And then we're on to a timeout square where I'll stop the clock and you'll pick up the extra prize. All right? Okay. You know what you've got to do, don't you? Yeah. You understand the rules? Yeah. Right. Is the trap ready? Yes! Is the clock ready? Yes! All right, let's have the count, shall we? Three, three two, one, go! Three, two, three, two, come on. show you a statement. I want you to see if you can remember it. All right. Tell me what it is. She shells. Well, no, it's not quite seashells. She she sells seashells on the seashore. On the seashore. Correct. Right. Let's get some in the tunes there. Right, but few balloons on the way. Right, I want ten in. Cool. We're on to five already. They just last six, seven, eight. Stand back a bit here. All right, I want three correct answers from you before you can move on. OK. Which large animal did General Hannibal cross, cross the Alps with? Pass. Pass. It was an elephant. Uh... Right. Stand back here. Come on, it's your time. It's your time. It's your eight minutes. Uh, King Arthur owned the magical the magical Excalibur. What sword. was Excalibur? It was sword. a sword. That's one you got right. Which brothers had a hit with Unchained Melody? Righteous Brothers. Righteous Brothers. That's two you got right. Amongst ocean liners, what is the QE2's full name? Queen, Elib Queen Elizabeth II. What? Queen Elizabeth the... Second. The second. Onto a timeout square. Stop the clock. I a bit with the old answer there, didn't I? I'd only yeah. read out what you said because it isn't two, is it? It's no. the second. You got that one right. That means you have won these brilliant etch a sketch games. Yeah. yeah. I've got a game of golf for you, all right? 
And I, what I want is I want six blue balls through the little tunnel. OK, you can do that. They're onto the question square. I want three correct answers from you. And then I want you to go across the rope bridge. And then we've got a puzzle there. I think it's to do with lengths of things. We should explain more of that when we get to it. And then we're on to the timeout square. You're doing very, very well for yourself. So you're very quickly. You've got about, you've got about six and a half minutes left to do it in. So you've got plenty of time. There's no need to rush your little feet off. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Relax a little now. Relax. You're a bit tense. Huh? Relax and get going. Right. Go. Go on. I want six through there. Take your time on this one. Take your time. You'll be faster. Come on. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Two more to get. Come stand by each other. Right, whose portrait is always on the British stamps? Queen Elizabeth. The Queen, yes. What does an architect design? Houses. Yeah, buildings. houses and buildings. In which sport do competition competitors aim at a gold circle in the centre of a target? That's it's archery. How many petals on a poppy? Five. No, there's four. You said four, but you said five are. How many sides in a pentagon? Five. Five! Get across the road bridge. That's three correct. Right. I'm to puzzle here. Right, I want you to put these in there. Now, wait. Traps been fine. Yes! Great time. Right, back onto here. Back onto the puzzle here. I got to the puzzle. Right, that's right. In length of size is there. What's short? It's a millimetre. What's next after a millimetre? Mm -hmm. Centimetre. And what do you think, fellas, that? Decimetre. Decimetre. Metre. What do you think that no, is right? That, ten, yeah. No, 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 that's no. You're right. right. Oh. And then a decameter is quick. And a hectometer onto the timeout square. Stop the clock. Turn this way. Turn this way. Thanks for camera. Let me just say, uh, let me just, excuse me a minute, pick these up because they've been thrown all over the place. I've got to leave that there. It's all right. It's not been broken. Well done, you two. You've got down this side in plenty of time. You've won this brilliant calculator and pen. <laughs> all right, you're doing very well for yourselves. Now, let's have a look. We've got some questions for you. I want three correct answers. Then I want you to burst the balloons. I'll give you the pins in a second. All right. And then... We've got a puzzle for you to do. It sort of match the, 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 the children with their parents, I think. We should sort that one out. Then you're through the tunnel, all right, and then onto the timeout square where you'll pick up some extra prizes, OK? Mm -hmm. All right, you know what you've got to yeah. do? You've got about... You've got under five minutes to do it in, so you've got plenty of time. Mm -hmm. There isn't that much of a rush. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Are you steady? Go! Questions, questions. How many nets are there in a game of netball? Two, two. Two nets is correct. How many 50 pences are there in £7.50? Pass. 15. In which sport were Jane Torville and Christopher Ice Keaton? Skating. Ice skating. that's two you got right. The first postage stamp, the penny black, showed which queen? Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria's correct, that's three. Start bursting those balloons. <laughs> the young with their parents, their mothers. So, let's try it. Yeah, cat and a kitten is correct. A uh, cow and uh, what goes with a cow? A calf, that is correct. A goose and a... Swan So it must be a goose and a gosling and a foal and a bear. Brilliant, through you go. That was a very quick side, that one, wasn't it? You've done, you've done very well on that side. We're in plenty of time now. And because you've got down to this end, let's see what you've won. You've won this fantastic, useful for you, tennis gear! <laughs> Ooh, 
let's see what we've got to do down this side, shall we? <gasps> well, we've got a puzzle here. You've got to fit all those parts in there to make a rectangle. All right. We'll get to that one in a minute. That's probably going to take us a little while, I'm sure. And then we've got the bucket crossing there. You've got to get across the yellow without stepping off. So stick to keep on the buckets. Then we're on to the question square. What three correct answers from you? And then we're across the tube. Then we're on to the timeout square where you'll pick up your last prize. And then we'll go to the trap. All right? Yeah. You've got about three and a half minutes to do it in. You've got plenty of time. You're still hanging on to your five-star prize, which is great. So you're playing for the colour telly still. Let's see what we've got there at the end of this line. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! Right. Is that all going to it Go round and back again. Right. Right. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Did you see that? <laughs> right, it all fits in there. It fits in there. So if you, if you skew it. Come on. Now take your time. Take your time. That one's right. That one is right. That one's right. Get it in there. That one is wrong. This one is wrong. Let me tell you now. Think about it. Ah, think like, think along those lines. Right? Yes! So make that all just suddenly goes together. Right. Come on. Take your time. Take your time. You step up, I'll send you back. On to the score. Yes, right. Three correct answers. How many leaves would you normally find on a clover stalk? Three, three. Three is correct. What do you call a man that sits on a horse all day rounding up cattle? Pass. A cowboy. <laughs> on the well, in the well-known film, who was Butch Cassidy's partner? Pass. Sundance Kid. In a pack of playing cards, what else do we call a knave? Jack. 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 That's two you got right. How many letters are there in the alphabet in English? Twenty-six. Get across that bar there. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Well done, you two. You shot across there. You have plenty of time left. I think you probably had a couple of minutes left to finish off the game on. That means, because you've got to decide, you've won this radio cassette recorder. <laughs> now, you're doing very well. You managed to hang on to your five star prize. All right. I think Stuart didn't really stand much of a chance, did he? Because she threw you down that first side on this last one here. You're playing for the colour TVs. It's time to enter the trap. Come on in. <laughs> All right. OK. As I said, you're playing for the colour TVs. You know what you've got to do, don't you? Yeah. You've got to answer three questions correctly. If you get these three questions right, you'll be taking the TVs home with you. Are you ready? Fire the trap. What is the capital city of the Republic of Ireland? Oh. Dublin. Dublin is correct. The colour telly age! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Not only have you won the colour tellies, you've won the etch sketch the calculator and pens, the tennis racket and balls, and the radio cassette recorder. Well done. Have you had a good time? Yeah. Have you had a good time too? I hope you have. We'll see.